your average Muslim, and this is shocking because we think of Muslims as as like very knowledgeable about their religion because we see them going to the mosque, we see them dressed in a certain way. No, Islam emphasizes that Muslims need to understand these basic practices and they need to do these things. They need to fast during Ramadan. They need to uh, dress a certain way. They need to take the pilgrimage. But as far as understanding their book, it was it was shocking to me how little Muslims know about their book. In fact, the vast majority of times, uh, the vast majority of times when I'm quoting the Quran to Muslims, they have no clue what I'm talking about because they're just not familiar with it. Um, and that's uh, that's kind of sad because you're trying to expose Muhammad by quoting these passages and they don't know what you're talking about. Um, but there's a positive side to that as well. Namely that when you're showing Muslims what the Quran says about all these issues, the, the, the question that rises in their mind is, wait a minute, why have I never heard this from my imam? Why have I never heard this from my sheikh? Why am I hearing these things from this Christian only? And so there, there can be a kind of light switch moment eventually like, wait a minute, have they been filtering information from, have they been hiding this stuff from, have my leaders been hiding this information about the Quran and Muhammad from me? And why am I getting this stuff from the Christian and so on? So that 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 can actually encourage them to start studying Islam for themselves. And at which point they're, they're going to be on their way out of Islam.